after their father was hit and killed by a car while walking home. It happened back in June off Blue Ridge Road just west of I-49. KNBC 9's Peyton Headley explains because of a huge backlog in crash reports that there hasn't been an arrest. Haley, MSHP says the driver cooperated after hitting Robert Gatewell just off of Blue Ridge Road here, but they can't file any charges until the investigation is complete. Now nearly three months after the crash happened, his family wants answers and action. Just off of Blue Ridge Road, near a walking path worn into the grass, you'll find a bouquet of blue and white flowers marking the spot where a driver hit and killed Robert Gatewell. I don't go through there because I don't, I don't really want to. It's a spot his mom has avoided for months. Right now, I can't even go to the cemetery because I don't want to go right now. <laughs> and these last few months have been hard. But I, I, I'm trying. Now his family is figuring out how to grieve. I'm really, like, mad, but... <laughs> There's nothing like I can do about it, but I wish I can. And fighting to put the driver who killed him behind bars almost three months after the accident happened. We're actually just wanting to know when is this report going to be done? MSHP says they can't give the case to the prosecutor until they have the crash reconstruction report. For a major crash investigation, that report usually comes within 60 days. But the investigation team is swamped. It's not right for him to hit my son like he wasn't nothing. Yeah, he had some little, little ones. <laughs> so for now, his family will remember him through pictures and stories. He was a good soul, he was. And do what they can to keep his memory alive. I just want to see justice for my son. In Grandview, Peyton Headley, KMBC 9 News. It's been more than 80 days since this accident happened, and troopers say the crash reconstruction report will likely be ready within the next month.